Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to The Week in Tech. We're filming from Canaletto, a residential tower designed by world-renowned Dutch architect Ben van Berkel of UN Studio. This 31-storey building sits at the crossroads of the capital's most exciting and diverse district, East London's tech cluster of Silicon Roundabout. The building features a restaurant, cinema room, swimming pool, gym and a 24th floor private club with Sky Terrace. This apartment is owned by a successful tech entrepreneur, with the interiors designed by Johnson Naylor. Each apartment in the building comes with advanced level home automation and its very own server, so residents can tailor their tech to their space. In investment news this week, fintech firm Ratesetter raised £10 million, valuing the firm at more than £200 million. The peer-to-peer -peer lending platform's backers include Woodford Investment Management and Artemis. Retail tech startup Ubic raised a £4.1 million Series A from VC firm Felix Capital. The London headquartered startup has created a B2B mobile solution, enabling retailers to monitor their operations in real time. Cybersecurity firm Panacea raised £2.52 million from existing investors, including Albion Ventures. Notion Capital and Winton Ventures also took part in the round. Other funding rounds this week include the £1.55 million seed secured by CrowdJustice, the £1 million seed raised by Ebb3, the £1.5 million by Zish, and the £250,000 raised by Air Supply. British Airways experienced a catastrophic IT failure that grounded hundreds of flights. The company claimed it was down to a power surge, however experts have rubbished this theory. Multiple data centre designers have said a power surge should not be able to bring down a data centre, let alone a data centre and its backup. Overseas, Uber fired Anthony Lewandowski, the engineer and ex-Google employee leading Uber's self-driving vehicle efforts. This is the result of a legal battle between Uber and Waymo, the self-driving tech unit spun out of Google. Waymo claims Uber is using trade secrets stolen from Google to develop autonomous vehicles. Our download of the week is AirHelp. The app is designed to help you gain compensation for flight delays, cancellations and diversions. It features an in-app boarding pass scanner, allowing you to check instantly whether you're eligible for compensation. And finally, for those of you in the capital, you soon won't even be able to enjoy some quiet time on the tube. That's because Transport for London is seeking bids to provide mobile coverage on the underground. This would mean commuters could make calls and browse the web from anywhere on the network, not just at certain stations. That's all for this week's episode. Thanks to Canaletto for hosting us. For more information, visit canalettolondon.com and for more of the latest tech headlines, follow Tech City News on Twitter.